I'm Dr. Jason Dyke. And I'm Dr. Sandra Davich. We're researchers at the Faculty of Medicine and Dentistry at the University of Alberta. And Dr. Dyke, can you explain to me the findings you made about resveratrol? Well, recently my lab's been studying uh, the effects of resveratrol, a compound found in red wine. And it's received a lot of attention of late due to, its, due to the fact that it has the potential to extend lifespan and uh, prevent type 2 diabetes. And so in collaboration with Dr. Davidge, we've been looking at intrauterine growth restriction, um, which involves um, essentially or results in, in babies being born underweight. And Dr. Davidge, what kind of findings did your research uncover regarding, regarding growth restriction? Well, we know with growth restriction, you increase the susceptibility to adult cardiovascular disease and diabetes. But what we found is that when the offspring that are born growth restrictor are fed a high fat diet, there's an increased deposition of fat to the abdomen. So abdominal fat is increased. And this will increase the uh, susceptibility of these growth restricted offspring to type 2 diabetes. And what are your next steps in your research? Well, I think the, the additional findings that when we treat the, the same animals with resveratrol, we completely prevent this uh, abdominal obesity. So they still gain the same amount of weight as the untreated animals, yet where they deposit the fat is different. And again, as Sandy, uh, Dr. Davidge mentioned, it decreases the susceptibility to developing, developing uh, type 2 diabetes. So the next steps will be being able to treat the animals at a certain, at a certain age and seeing if, if they need to be treated um, for a long duration of lifetime treatment or if there is a window of, or therapeutic window of opportunity where we can treat with resveratrol and then prevent um, type two development of type 2 diabetes later in life.